information on an I-Team investigation into a movie theater on Elmwood. One man is facing charges now. Another is in critical condition in the hospital after a fight at the Regal Cinemas. And new tonight, 7 Eyewitness News has learned now that police are very familiar with problems at this theater, especially over the past six months. Here's our investigator, Charlie Speck. The police were notified and they responded to the movie theater. It's become a regular occurrence. Police cars at the Regal Theater on Elmwood responding to a 911 call like they did Tuesday night for a felony assault. Whether it's for a fight, a bomb scare, or reports of bed bugs, police data shows that there have been 26 calls to that location just in the last five months. That averages out to more than once a week that police are being called to the area around the theater. Stuff happens at this theater all the time, one patron said. I'll never set foot in there again, said another. Always something weird going on at this theater. Not my first choice when it comes to picking a place to enjoy a movie. So what is Regal doing to curtail this problem? The cinema manager went outside and attempted to break up the scuffle that he was witnessing on the ground. That manager wouldn't speak with us when we went to the theater this week. And corporate has not returned multiple phone calls. But we do know one thing they have done is hire off-duty Buffalo officers to work security, like the one who was trying to break up the fight on Tuesday. Some eyewitnesses contacted the 7 Eyewitness News I-Team saying they think that officer was too rough in breaking up the fight and may have made the victim's head injury worse. But police brass say the officer did nothing wrong. Now we wanted to show you video of last week's fight so you could see for yourself exactly what happened. But police spokesman Mike DeGeorge says the city is withholding that video from the view of the public at this time. For the I-Team, Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Charlie. A 17-year-old facing charges tonight for calling in a...